Okay, Sagittarius. This is going to be a general reading uh, for you guys for this upcoming week. And to see more, excuse me, that's what I say for TikTok. I always tell them to see more, come over to my YouTube channel. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so this will be a general reading for you guys. I'm going to start off here with the Chinese fortune cookie oracle. Change. Okay. A change of residence, partner, career, or job is on the cards. You are restless and in need of a change, and that is exactly what is coming your way. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm going to use a moon oracle here. And it says, believe, believe in the impossible. And it says, blue moon. I know it's hard to see these cards. Okay, and I'm going to use this deck. <clears throat> Excuse me, I should get my tea, I guess. All right, Sagittarius for this upcoming week. And as you guys can see, I have a new setup here. I'm hoping that um, you be able to see the cards better this way. And then I don't have to hold each card up to the camera. Okay, and some of you may know, especially if you watch my channel, that each sign has a power color. And yours is purple. I don't know if they're exactly straight here. Okay. Did I already say, ask if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel? I don't know if I did or not. And at the end, if you liked it, or sh you know, give it a like and a share if you liked it. That'd be cool. <laughs> Sorry if I already said it. So there are fire signs, earth signs, air signs, and earth signs here. Uh, the sign that stands out the most is Aries. Okay, and just look at the cards here for a second. Okay, something looks a little crooked. <laughs> okay, so we start off here with the Queen of Wands. So that shows that there's nothing that you can't do. Shows that you're uh, talented and ambitious. And um, it says to trust your instincts. And uh, how people perceive you is important to you. It can be a little bit hot-tempered sometimes, but uh, I guess, you know, a lot of us can be, especially with fire signs. <laughs> okay, so next you have the Two of Pentacles. And uh, that's a balance of home and work, or, you know, maybe it's working too hard or having multiple jobs, but it, it's uh, juggling resources. But it advises some balance and fun in life. And it says to watch for opportunities, too, in unlikely places. <clears throat> okay, so next you have the Six of Wands here. And that's a card of victory. And it's uh, being recognized by others for your hard work. 
and it can be promotion too for some of you but it's a uh, looks like some great news some of you might have a large following of supporters also okay next is the three of wands and the large following of supporters can be like on social media or it can be just you know your friends or your family or people that support you but it looks like there's a lot of people that um yeah all right so that with the three of wands next here this shows like the success su successful first steps um it's initial success and it says to keep on planning And it advises like that maybe you've been delegating action to others. If not, maybe you should delegate some action to other people. <clears throat> and should grab my tea here. But so it's also like abundance from past choices. And just be patient as you decide what's next. Okay, next here is the Knight of Swords. And that is events that move with great speed. And it can be sudden or unexpected changes. But it does show that you're driven and focused and have courage and determination. Just don't let your strong will cloud your judgment. Okay, next is the fool. So the, the fool says to take a leap of faith and to trust yourself. Um, some of you might be a free spirit type, but it is a, it's a new start. It can be a new, you know, a new start, a new journey. It can be a new job. It can be a new relationship, but it's something new. Mm -hmm. For some others, it can represent a vacation, like a, a journey or going on a vacation. <clears throat> okay. Next here is the Ace of Cups. And with this Ace here, this shows there can be new emotional experiences. It can be um, love or deep friendship, but it is a card of emotional happiness. And some of you might be getting a new home. And it can also be, you know, a chance to start over. Like I mentioned with the Fool here, it's a, you know, take a leap of faith. It's a new start. And this is, indicates it can be a chance to start over. And uh, for those of you that, that don't want, like, anything new when it comes to that, it can be that an emotional issue has been resolved. So, you know. Okay. Next here is the Ace of Swords. And that is, you have a you know a couple Aces here. So you actually do have two Ones here, because the Ace is one. And that's New Beginnings. So you have the Fool, it's about taking, you know, New Journey. You have two Aces, they're all about new, new beginnings, new things. So it looks like there's a lot of some new stuff coming to you. Or some kind of new start. So with the Ace of Swords. It's a card, it can be a card of victory. It's progress, mental clarity. And it's like triumph over difficulties. But it's time to focus on new opportunities. I mean, it's, it's really obvious here. <laughs> but time to focus on new opportunities. May have been a challenging beginning, but uh, triumph over difficulties. Okay, and next here is the Queen of Pentacles. And, ouch. <laughs> this is a card that shows you're accomplished and you're someone who likes to help others and you're very hard working you know career woman or man but or they you know but very hard working and very sensitive to others needs but do you have the resources you need or you're good at gathering with the resource resources that you need for things Okay, guys, so at the end of this, I usually pull um, one more, like another tarot card. 
I think I'm going to go ahead and pull an um, Oracle card here, from the different Oracle deck here. I'm going to pull two, actually. <clears throat> okay, this says deep replenishment, retreat, rest, be held. I know it's hard to see these ones. And this one is your guidance is divinely guided. All right, you guys. Again, if you liked it, if you want to give it a like and a share, that'd be cool. Or just a like. Um, and if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, I would really appreciate that. All right, you guys. Thanks a lot.